Meanwhile, court documents just released on the arrest of a suspected hit and run driver reveal four years of alleged cover ups. A tip earlier this summer led investigators to 44 year old Christopher Stymack. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally has a look at what led to his arrest and the elaborate cover up police say he tried to orchestrate. Dave? John, we're just a block from the crime scene here. Police got their big break in this case in June when the wife of the suspect came forward to tell her story. The new court documents filed tell the story of a suspect who uh, allegedly went to great lengths to hide his tracks, even staging a car accident in Ohio to make it look like damage to his car here actually happened there. The night he allegedly hit and killed 13-year-old Hadley Cave at Franklin and Thompson, he allegedly told his wife only that he had hit something. She later told police, quote, he came in the house in a panic, screaming, running around, that he thought he had hit something but did not know what it was. He was flipping out. She says when she told him to call police, he said, no, I can't. I've been drinking. I'll get in trouble. The next day, he called her from Cincinnati, allegedly, and told her that he'd been in a car accident there and that she needed to go there to pick him up. There was a police report done on that accident, an accident he allegedly staged and filed for insurance recovery. Then over the years since the hit and run, he allegedly warned his wife, quote, if you tell anybody, you will go to jail with me and you will lose the kids and they will be in foster care. When police interviewed Stemmick this week, without admitting responsibility, he told police to tell Hadley's mother, quote, you need to tell that woman the agony and sorrow and sincere pain and torment that I've, I'm sorry. Tonight on the Night Beat, what the suspect says, what he told police, he was really doing with that accident in Ohio when that happened the day after the incident here. Uh, back to you, John and Andrea.